There we go. We control one. Improve the weapons of our axe throwers. And we can throw another beast if we wanted to. Um, get you there on lore. We are out of iron. That's another thing to keep note of. It's not good. But it's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world because we've upgraded everything. The only thing that we would need iron for at this point is if we get sailors or if we uh, if we lose our war chief somehow. Okay. Go ahead and colonize there. That's lore master. Done. Weapons man. Okay. There we are. We've taken over another territory. Let's get ourselves... Well, we don't have another villager just yet. We actually could do with improving our... Do with improving our happiness. So let's go ahead... One of them will build the mine. One of them will build the longship area. And then we build ourselves a defense tower. Keep our military down there for the time being, since we don't have any other defenses at the moment. And then once we're done with building all this stuff, then we will have... 40 stone. That'll be great. We can upgrade our hunting lodge, can upgrade a lot. And we can actually build another building in this area. Um, build a hall of stones. Let's fill up and down here. So we've taken over on trade and wisdom and fame. So you can see we were pretty well behind to begin with. But uh, we're pulling through. We should be just fine. Although, one of the things that I've learned, one of the things I've noticed is that map generation definitely plays a very, very large part in uh, the kind of start that you get, the kind of what was that? Oh, okay. Somebody else's scout died. That's what. Alright. You also will be a miner, and then when this guy's done, he will become a uh, scald to improve our happiness. So, there we are. Reason to keep our military down there. Because the wolves attack. Ten of twelve. Huh. Seriously considering going for a lore victory, which I really, rarely, rarely do. Let's go ahead and already improve this to give us more happiness. Uh, we'll have to improve some houses as well to help with that. And then one of these days we'll make shoot, make use of the uh, longship dock. Could organize a feast. You. Happiness. So, you can see that I'm going for happiness so that we get more people join our clan quickly. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade this house. That takes care of a little bit more happiness that we needed. The happier we are, the quicker they join. The quicker they join, the more we grow. The more we grow, the more uh, people we can have to uh, basically spread around. cover all the tasks that we need done. So we're going to need a few more woodcutters up here to replace the ones that I've reassigned to mining temporarily. Um, I think we could also go for another hunter. There we go. Hunting Lodge has been improved. And our next villager will go down to be a hunter. Actually, yeah, yeah. Let's just send you right away. Let's 
guy. Happiness. More and more happiness. Happy they are. Where can they come? All right. Lore time. Uh, we could go for firewood consumption. Let's do that. So, the reason I didn't go for this tile is I actually, sometimes I like to have a tile in between me and the next player. Um, I would much rather uh, deal with a wolf or two coming in here every once in a while than have to deal with uh, a p potentially a, a big war party coming in and invading us. So, so we've got quite a ways to get go on fame. Again, wisdom and trade seem to be the easiest ones for me to go for. But that's not to say that we couldn't go in and take these two tiles right here. Okay. Get, down, get you down here to chop us some wood. So we've got good stores for both our resources. That's not good, actually. Come back up. We desperately need this That's bad. That's really bad. Get out of there. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Okay. The war chief is faster than normal troops. All right. So they are focused on the tower, and we can tell right there that red now is antagonistic to us. All right. Territory is under attack. These guys got it. Ten member without a job. Well, I've got a job for you. Repair that. Okay. So, trade route. Time for us to change our trade route. Uh, we could go for... Food to the UNR. You, sir, come and repair this home. And then we need to build this water. Repair this watchtower. Wow. Three wolves. Okay. Well, we're only minus 16 on our food. That's not bad at all. Again, I would much rather deal with the occasional... Bring you back to make you a villager real quick. Go ahead and improve our... Even more improved soldiers, which is great. Uh, villager. That's weird. Get down here and mine this stone out, boys. We got 12 more stone to go. Okay. We're fine on food. We're actually positive on wood. And with some of his military defeated, uh, we will go ahead and just move in here and take this next territory. Colonize that. And, okay, we need some stone for the Throne of Kings. Alright. So we will build... Let's actually do that here. Develop this area. And then once we've got 10 stone, we can build the Altar of Kings, which will give us some production on each of the different uh, resources. Which is handy. It's expensive, but it's one of the victory conditions for fame. If I can, I'm going to show off a fame victory for you guys, because it's the one that I'm least likely to do otherwise. Uh, villager. Go ahead and have you build a watchtower. So if you want a secret... Basically, if you want the secret to winning on a card, it is to build a watchtower in every tile. And wow, that would have been four Draugr. And we got some sheep here. I didn't even know about that. Alright, sheep there. Um, sheep here. Sheep 
here. And I have another sheep here. And that should reduce our wood consumption by quite a bit. All right. Oh, nope. There we are. Altar of Kings is being built. Uh, we are good on lore masters. We are good on merchants for those victory conditions. And then, uh, all right, one more time. Do colonization. Uh, let's go with militia, actually. And do uh, let's get a shield bearer camp. improve this woodcutter's lodge these guys are done with their mining so let's take you and you and let's take you as well put everybody into the longship dock and we'll get everybody sailing out there on the seas let's start that raid and we're gonna go for lore i guess uh let's get rid of you got two. all right so this is a little bug it, obviously it's still in beta or alpha whatever you call it uh let's so this little interface thing right here is very annoying. All right, let's get you back in there. All right, get there. Shield bearer camp is complete. House we're working on. Uh, what else can we build here? Uh, for now, nothing, I think. Okay, we're out of stone. Let's go ahead and... Uh, what place... I actually can't attack here because of the water. So the last the last four stone we will use to improve the tower that goes right here. And you need to be an axe thrower. Warrior. You need to be a shield bearer. Let's turn rallying on. Shield bearer as well. Okay. So we're a little bit low on the wood food production right now, but that's okay. That'll perk up as the uh, town hall keeps producing more villagers. We are full on our military. So we've got a full strength military to deal with anything that our opponents might throw at us. Uh, the only thing we're going to do is I'm going to put one more villager down here to finish off the, uh, uh, the Hall of Skulls down here. Get him producing fame for us and one more one more area and a little bit more fame and we'll win a fame victory. Uh, we need to outpace ourselves on the uh, victory for the uh, merchants though. It's the only thing that, to take into account. All right, we can actually buy, we're gonna buy some more ore, stone. Sorry, iron, that's what I meant. We're gonna buy some iron to improve our shield bearers and then it's war time, baby. So the, uh, the trolls are sometimes a little, a little wonky still. Let's go ahead and colonize for 450. My goodness, that's a lot of food. Um, it's all right. We'll be good. Stone to improve our... We are. And then we have a villager in here to build ourselves another watchtower. So now all we have to do actually is tick up to, well, only 40 more fame, actually. We're, we're pretty well set on it. Actually, there's a nice easy way for us to get a little bit more fame, and that is to improve one of our houses. Find a house, find a house. There we go. So improving improving buildings gives you a little bit more. Oh. Okay, the wolves are attacking. That's fine. Woodcutter, stop cutting wood. So I'm not worried about the food deficit because we're gonna finish off the uh, 
we're gonna finish the game here in just a bit. We just all we need is 21 more fame, and we're done. There we are. All right, War Masters, get out of there. That red military is enough to do some damage. But we're coming in behind. We're flanking them. All right, War Masters, you're back in. Look at that. We killed all of them. So we will bring you back up here to repair. Let's go ahead and buy. Upgrade. And there we are. That's the win. So we've done it. That's a lore, a fame victory. Sorry, fame victory. So the other thing I like about Northgard is this neat little uh, after, um, not after effects, but this after, uh, after game replay, if you will. So you can see we're spread out on the four, basically on four corners. Um, and red here expanded down early first and then came up this way. So as you can see, uh, map generation is a big part of how the game plays out. Yellow here, yellow and blue were, were basically destined to, to be in conflict because there's no cliffs in between them. And unless yellow decides to expand this little way up towards me, uh, they're, they're almost guaranteed to be in conflict here with blue. So, uh, it, it's kind of, it's good and bad. You can, you can kind of tell from the replay who is almost, I don't want to say fated to win, but when it comes to a random map generation, there's clearly someone who is in a, a good position to win. And frankly, it seems that I probably had the best starting spot, um, because of this tile right here, this, uh, this food generation tile that was right next to us. It was open. There were no wolves to attack us. Uh, it had both farm and fish that we could then build one of our uh, one of our granaries on, and basically set us set us good for food for the rest of the game. Um, so, it, just looking at the map, if I had to select someone to win, it would have been either us or red, which is largely what you can see from the map of who did well as far as expansion. Now, expansion doesn't necessarily mean that they were the best as far as some of the other metrics. As you can tell, blue had. Um, Blue was very high on their lore score, which is a, another very uh, valid way to win. I find that merchant victory is the easiest, followed by lore, and then fame victory is fame and domination are generally pretty tough. Um, and then depending on the lore or the artifact that's in the middle of the island, the victory condition for that changes uh, um, and uh, can be easier or more difficult than some of the other victory conditions. Anyways, so that's a victory for the. Uh, that's a victory for us, the Stag Clan, Ekthirnir, and uh, first victory for the first game here on Additional Pylons Games. So if you enjoyed a little bit of Northgard, then go ahead and make sure to give these videos a like. Uh, hit subscribe if you want to see daily videos, gaming videos, all the game reviews, uh, let's plays, that sort of stuff here on Additional Pylons Games. So thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time here on APG. Thanks for watching Additional Pylons Games. Click one of the boxes to watch another video, and click the circle to subscribe and join the APG Zealots. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Comment below and I'll see you next time here on Additional Pylons Games.